it was this charge that libertarians have no realistic solutions that led me into politics more than just advocacy and activism to say what would the best realistic solutions be and this is how we came up with the policy of localization this is by far not only just the, the most realistic uh, application of libertarian ideas yeah there's some things that can end right away uh you know the wars the drug war the the you know, surveillance state uh you know, you know all there are a lot of things that you can end immediately that are just ending uh, the, the suffering caused by government that have no consequence you know the only people who are dependent on them are you know the people in the military industrial complex and, and if your job is making bombs to kill innocent children at wedding parties with drone strikes then no you should not be working that job i am not going to cry about you losing your job but when you look at the the bigger dependency on government of the the systems that it represents the the welfare state local government uh you know management of, of public resources all of these things you go yes the, the if you just jump to the libertarian ideal you're right there, there's no realistic solution in there and and that's why i am so excited about this presidential campaign and this platform and how it came about as a thought exercise that turned into a real campaign not just hey i think i should be president what's my platform what do i believe in no it's well hey this came about because i was asked what would you do if you were president and people just kept asking questions what about this what about, and i go wow uh, localization and all of a sudden it, it occurred to me like hey there's this huge you know comprehensive platform that answers so many political questions and it's the best strategically it's strategically pragmatic and, and here's why you know i i think libertarians lose so badly at the national level right is that if you're saying on the scale of you know here's the dial zero to statism or zero to absolute tyranny well right now we're, we're here and if you say i want to dial things back to here let's go back to the constitution well now you have to argue with people going well why not here why not right here how about right here? why not the, why not just a little more than this why not just a little less than this and if you if you play that game you're going to lose to the people who want government tyranny all the way at the the needle you know all the way to the bottom and they're fighting over how to bring it here because they're better arguers they control the levers of power right now they have more money they have the control of the government and if you fight with them and your answer is well let's have a kinder gentler system let's move it to here you you can't get consensus on this now, if you just say, hey, let's move the needle all the way to over here, well, you're not gonna get consensus on that either. And, and that's, that's a terribly unrealistic position for libertarians to say, let's go all or nothing, right? Let's, let's just go uh, absolute free and, and to, to, to ignore not only the dependency and what we need to do pragmatically to move past this, but you know, it's ignoring the, the, the political reality where if you say you're gonna pull the rug out from underneath people, you're not gonna get any support whatsoever. And I think that's why libertarians have lost a lot of uh, national elections. And we've done so poorly in these national elections is because we've been playing their game, arguing issue by issue, accepting the premise of centralized government. Because when we're saying, hey, like, what is this? What is this whole scale right here? This is how big is government as a whole. But when you accept that the federal government should exist, that we have to have a centralized government, what you're doing is, is you're ignoring the, the basic wisdom of my favorite quote from Larry Sharp, which says, a, uh, he said, a, a libertarian is someone who believes you can be as liberal or as conservative as you want, as long as you don't force it on anybody else. And so politically, strategically, this is way more pragmatic because you don't have to argue with people issue by issue. You can unite Americans to take issue with the fact that there are people in Washington, D.C. trying to force their will on the rest of us. Really, this is my calling here to make libertarianism more pragmatic to take the principal message and not say well let's advocate for some watered down version of it or some not quite version of it or or let's do something that just smells a little bit like no you can stick to principles and come up with practical policy based on those principles without having to compromise principles are pragmatic that's the point you do unprincipled things surprise surprise you get impractical results. Localization is the ultimate manifestation of libertarian principles in pragmatic policy. And it's how we have 
really to, to, to this challenge, the ultimate in realistic solutions, because it's not my solution. It's not your solution. It's not some other would be tyrant solution. It's everybody's solution. Localization is the everybody gets what they want strategy. The only people who don't get what they want are the ones who want to continue profiteering off an illegal system. You know, it's like, well, if, if we stop, if we, if we put the mafia out of business, is that, you know, everybody gets what they want except for the mafia. We all get to live in peace. We all get our own solutions in our own communities. And that's what localization is, right? Because when government is localized down to the community level, it's transparent, it's accountable, it's voluntary because you can opt out, you can, you can create a new system, and you can have as much or as little government as you want because it's customized based on your values set up to meet your needs. And when it's local, you can opt out. Libertarianism has been presented incorrectly for so many years. And it's, it, it, is, it has led us to a lot of impractical policy. And when, when we say libertarianism is this or is this or should this or should that, we are losing our principles because the principles dictate you can have as much or as little government as you want, as long as it's voluntary. We play their game next thing you know, we're socially liberal, fiscally conservative. No, we are not either of these things. We are socially libertarian. We are fiscally libertarian, and it is not practical to give up our values, to give up our principles. You lose people. You lose the opportunity to wake people up. But more importantly, if you play their game, you're going to lose every time. So localization really is a, a critical new direction for the Libertarian Party. It is absolutely critical if we're going to win and take this party from being a debate club to being a political force of coalitions that we bring people into that coalition. Everybody gets what they want with localization, except for the nationalist militarists. And we've been saying for a long time as Libertarians, we are the anti-war party. Well, how do we unite the American people against the pro-war duopoly? By being absolutely principled, saying the only people who don't get what they want with this platform are the nationalist militarists, and they have been making things miserable for the rest of us for far too long. They are the reasons I saw innocent people die in the sands of Iraq. Screw them. If they're the ones who get cut out of this, they are the minority, the nationalist militarists who drive America's military policy. They are the dangerous, violent minority who have been in charge for too long. It is impractical to the extreme to allow them to continue in power. So we have to unite the American people as the anti-war party with practical, principled policy. That's why localization is pragmatic. This is the ultimate manifestation of our principles and pragmatic policy. So we have realistic solutions as libertarians. Not only that, we are the only party with realistic solutions because keeping this system going as we know it today is not only cruel and inhumane, but also unrealistic.